In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, we're told that the word of God is living and active. We are told this not simply so that we'll be impressed or encouraged by it. Uh, we're told this on the heels of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11, which is a warning that we need uh, to pursue God. It is, the, it is a call to be diligent in order to enter into God's rest, remember, in, into heaven. So Hebrews chapter 4 is written to a warning uh, to those people who think they're part of God's family but uh, are not. So who maybe are part of the external machinations, who maybe show up at church, who maybe think that they're part of, uh, of the, you know, the family of God, the community of faith, whatever, but whose names are not ultimately on uh, the Lamb's book of life. And so there is this edge to this. There is this uh, admonition uh, that we need to embrace the gospel with faith and let it change us. So um, what's literally said here is that in, in Hebrews chapter 4 is that, that we need to combine the word, okay, the gospel, with faith in order uh, to not miss out. And then we get this sense that the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, not so that we're encouraged or impressed by the book, but so that we understand that, that, uh, that it can... Um, assess us, right, and that God can assess us and that we stand um, before God. So uh, we are told, again, this is, there's, a, there's a punch here, and I, my duty, my job as a pastor is not to pull any punches, right? It's to let you understand uh, the message of God. And so we are told that the Bible, in Paul writes this in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, that all scripture is God-breathed and it's useful for teaching, for correcting, for training, rebuking, uh, and training in righteousness so that we may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we're, we're told all these things, but we're not being told these things so that we are impressed by the Bible. We ought to be impressed by the Bible, but we're not being told these things so that we're impressed by the Bible. Um, as, as an aside, I, I believe that the Bible is inspired. Uh, I believe that in the end, when all truth is known, we will find that this book, uh, this collection of 66 books, 39 from the Old Testament, 27 from the New, that these books in their original autographs, right, properly interpreted, are always true, never false in what they claim. I, I believe uh, that, that the Bible is trustworthy. Worthy. I believe that it's inspired. But, but the reason we're being told this in Hebrews chapter 4 is not so that we'll be impressed by the book. It is so uh, that we will see the need to press on, to study the book and to let the book study us and to, and to meet it with faith and to lean into God so that uh, we are in fact... Um, born again, and we are the ones who uh, uh, are able to offer an account of our life because our life has been changed, and Jesus is our Savior, and he's the one that God sees when he looks at us. Have a good day.